This is problem 12.24. It's given that a velocity of a particle as a function of position is given by v is equal to negative 4 s squared meters per second. It's also given that the particle starts at 2 meters. That means that when time is zero, the position is zero, but now it's not. It starts at 2 meters. So with that given, they'd like for us to find velocity and acceleration as a function of time. To do this problem, we're going to take the following approach. The hint in the problem, or the cue in the problem, indicates that it is a straight line motion. This will cue you to know that this is now a rectilinear motion. And since that's the case, equations 12.1 through 12.6 will apply. In addition, v is given as a function of s. Whenever we have some kinematic variable given as a function of another variable, we will most likely use equations 12.1 through 12.3. So let's first create a table of all our knowns and unknowns. Time, position, velocity, and acceleration. Here we have second, meters, meters per second, and meters per second squared. So at time t naught, equals 0, our s naught is equal to 2 meters. Our velocity is given as a function of position, and what the problem statement wants is to express that velocity as a function of time, and acceleration as a function of time. So if I write equations 12, 1, 12, 2, and 12, 3, what we want to do is find the expression for velocity as a function of time. So I immediately am drawn to this equation because I know something about velocity. Okay? And it's this variable that I want to solve for in terms of this variable. So let's see what we get if we substitute negative 4 squared into equation 12, 1. So using equation 12, 1, we get that negative 4s squared is equal to ds dt. I now need to take this variable and switch it over to the right side. So I get negative 4 dt is equal to s to the negative 2 ds. I can integrate this. Now this is where a common mistake will occur. We need to recognize that at time t0, it's 0. But the initial position at time t0 is actually equals to 2 meters. Okay. We're going to keep the upper limit generic and the upper limit generic for position as well. And then now we can go ahead and integrate this equation. Then we get that it's negative 4t eval evaluated from 0 to t is equal to s to the negative 1 negative, that's the integral of s negative 2 to the power of negative 2 and we are going to now evaluate it from 2 meters, right? s naught equals 2 meters to some generic variable s. So we get negative 4t minus 0 is equal to negative s to the negative 1 minus negative 2 to the negative 1. 
Let's simplify this further. We get negative 4t is equal to negative s to the negative 1 plus 1 half. Now we can solve for s. Solve for s and we get s is equal to negative 4t minus 1 half. That will be negative 1. Um, all divided by negative 1. Let's rearrange this further and we get 1 over s is equal to 4t plus 1 half. Simplify this further and we get s is equal to 1 over 4t plus 1 half. We can make this look nice and we can do that by multiplying this by 2 over 2. Then we'll get 2 over 8t plus 1. So that is now the expression for s as a function of time. And that would be in meters. Okay. However, However, we need to find velocity as a function of time, so we can just differentiate that equation. So velocity as a function of time is just d of that function above dt, which is the same as derivative of 2 over 8t plus 1 dt. I like to have everything in this format. It makes it easier for me to take the derivative. You can do it however way you want to. So that will become 2 times negative 1 from the exponent times 8t plus 1. So it would be minus 1 minus 1 times the derivative of 8t, which would be 8, you can, which turns out to be negative 16, 8t plus 1 to the negative 2 power in the units of meters per second. So that's one of our solution. Now in order to find a of t, it would just be dv dt, which would then be the derivative of negative 16 times 8t plus 1 to the negative 2 power dt, which would then be just negative 16 we carry down the exponent and then 8t plus 1 minus 2 minus 1 and then we take the derivative of 8t which would just be 8. We simplify this and it turns out to be 256 8t plus 1 to the minus 3.